welcome to episode three of Skeleton Realm Live. We've got a great show planned for you tonight. Um, we've got a lot of fun stuff. We've got a live band. We've got some uh, giveaways, some lottery giveaways. Let me close that. Oops. Uh, we've got dancers. We've got fire twirlers. We've got people doing backflips in the in the in the studio here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. It's Wednesday, May eleventh, twenty twenty two. I'm excited. I've got my Monster Zero uh, Ultra, and I've got my Diet Coke, and those are the two mainstay beverages that I am drinking, have been drinking on stream. And so I'm really excited. I'm really um, just pumped. I'm fueled. I'm pre fueled, and I'm super pumped for tonight's episode. Sam, how are you? I'm doing great, and I'm so excited. Better than ever. Probably the best I've been on this stream uh, so far. Number three, it's Wednesday again, the 11th, and I can't wait to begin. Three feels good. Three is like third time's a charm. We had some difficulties in the first two, but now we're kind of, I think we're going to finally get into our stride, as, I, as they say. Find our stride. Mm, definitely. We got a new camera here, uh -huh. and we're getting the angle perfectly. We're uh, hoping it doesn't go out. It's a GoPro, so let's see how pro it is. So I guess we can get straight into it. So anyway, Sam and I uh, this past week have been really excited about um, two uh, new creatures that have entered our lives. And these are our e-pets. We're really excited about our new e-pets. And uh, Sam's got a really cute little e-pet. I've got a really cute little e-pet. And uh, those of you who don't, aren't familiar with the e-pet scene, the e-pet community online, it's where you manage an e-pet. It's what it sounds like. And you can get an e-pet from basically any major social media site. You can get an e-pet from Twitter. You can get an e-pet from YouTube. You can get an e-pet from Instagram. You just have to DM uh, the official Instagram account or, or the official Twitter. You can, e you can uh, send a DM on the official Twitter page, and they'll send you a beautiful brand new e-pet. So we thought... Wouldn't it be fun to just kind of talk about our new e-pets on stream uh, uh, this week? And um, so, Sam, introduce us to your brand new e-pet. It would be my honor. Uh, this is Jasper. This is uh, my digital dog. It's a pit bull. And I've had it for about two months. And it loves eating food, drinking out of the water bowl. Mm. And it's been really fun. It's now up to 600 uh about 600 almost seven uh xp points and i'm just really stoked for it what do you think of jasper i love him he's so cute he looks so fluffy and just playful and could, i mean he's just adorable love jasper wow thanks what kind of pet what is he he's a pit bull oh i wasn't listening at all wow he's cute he looks like he looks like a pit bull what a cutie <laughs> so what are you feeding him uh digital kibble mm. and water Wonderful. Well, how does his? How do you deal with his waist? Uh, his waist. Uh, it's about twelve inches in diameter, and mm, oh right. Uh, okay. I they don't really they, in this version. I heard they're going to do a, a patch upgrade uh, for the for the e pets, and making they're going to the, start gaining weight. Ooh, making them larger. Yeah. Who, who wouldn't love a larger e pet? A bigger e pet means more to love. Exactly. But for now, you can't have them gain weight. And mm. uh, we're looking forward to that uh, update or patch or whatever they release that. So, uh, mm. yeah. What about you? What about your e-pet? I haven't seen it yet. I'm looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. I'm so excited about my brand new e-pet. His name is Mr. Boo Boo. This is Mr. Boo Boo. He's got soft, beautiful fur on his head. His ears are perked up. He's, uh, he's very responsive to lights. Uh, I flash lights in his face at night, and he, he perks up into the computer screen. Um, he's 182 pounds, um, and he just he loves treats. I feed him digital treats all day long. He gets on his hands and knees, and he begs. He begs me for treats, and um, I just like rubbing his skin and rubbing his hair, and I kiss him on, his, in, on the lips, on the screen, and that's Mr. Boo Boo. He's my beautiful little e-pet. I couldn't be happier with him. He's been so good to me. He's adorable. I, I I really like his glasses too. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really cool. Uh, so it did. Is what kind of vision does he have? He has pretty bad vision. You know, he came with uh, a, a bad vision, and so one of the things I had to do was I had to figure out why was he bumping into the digital walls. I had him in a digital cage, and he was bumping into the walls of the cage constantly, constantly, constantly. And finally, he kind of looked at me with those puppy dog eyes that he's got there, and he said, "Daddy, I need my my eyes don't work good." 
And so we we worked it out, and I talked to the admins on Twitter, and we got him a pair of glasses, and now he's wandering around his cage fine. He can find a, he can easily find a corner to defecate and urinate in. Um, and so he's just been so happy, and he's just been so pleasing to me. And he, he like, when I look at him, I get off, you know? Yeah. It's just the, one of I, the perks of having an e-pad. They're so cute. They're just good companions, too. Just having a friend to get off to, you know? I just like looking at him and just getting off. It just, in a non-sexual kind of way, you know? Yeah. Wonderful. So that's Mr. Boo Boo. Great. Uh, yeah. So maybe we'll give the viewers another check in in a couple years. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. After a couple years, maybe after they've grown and learned some new tricks and stuff. I mean, we did just get these things, so that'll maybe we'll make that kind of a regular segment. Checking in on the pets. Oh, there goes the GoPro. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Well, wow. uh, we can continue on with uh, the next thing while I fix the GoPro. Okay. So. Something that we've been really interested in lately is uh, kind of taking the Skeleton Realm brand and attaching it to something that's older than us, something that's tried and true, like a, not, not like a secret society, but something like that, like a, a gentleman's club, an order. And so what we've gotten into lately is a new order in Atlanta. It's called the No One Left Behind Policy. And this is a policy that we have joined. It's a exclusive club that Skeleton Realm has signed up for. And basically, it is what it sounds. It, it does what it sounds like. It's it's a policy that promotes no one being left behind, and uh, this is a, an order of men, of young men, old men. Uh, we get together, we meet up in a temple downtown, and we just make sure that no one gets left behind. And that can mean a lot of different things. And honestly, I can't really say much about what we're doing inside the temple, but no one is left behind, and that's sort of the the ethos of the group. Um, you know, last week we had our first meeting. We were instructed to arrive at the temple uh, uh, clothed in something that they said we could, we could take o uh, off and on very quickly and easily, and we soon found out why, and I can't really disclose some of the things that we got into, but no one was left behind, and uh, that is that is something that we we are tasked now after being a new initiate members of the group. We need to go out and proselytize and say... No one should be left behind. And so, Sam, what was your? How did you feel about this new group that we've joined and this new uh, sort of covenant we've taken? It it was thrilling. Uh, however, uh, I didn't really understand what was going on with it. They bought a robes and hoods. Um, I got this jacket from them, and uh, it's. I kind of know what you mean. Yeah. It's, but at the end of the day, don't you understand? It's no one's left behind. That's kind of the the crux of it, and I, because I, I when I got home after the meeting, I was thinking, gosh, what what just happened? You know, I feel I honestly felt violated, um, what the things that they did to us there. But oh. I thought I kept saying to myself, that no one's left behind, because that's really what they drilled into us, and I think that's what we need to, you know, dwell on. It's no one's left behind. Yeah, I mean, I felt secure. I did not feel alone. Yeah. Well, we were there together. Well, and then the other initiates, too. I feel like we're giving too much away because <laughs> we were kind of, you know, well, fuck. Yeah, I forgot. It's supposed to be secret. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Well, um, maybe move on then. But we can, we can say that no one will be left behind. And from now on, all our streams, all of our content, everything we do, we're going to make sure that no one's left behind. It's good. It's a good promise to have, especially when, uh, you know, we, we have an entire population probably thousands of people watching right now that don't want to be left behind right so if we can just look at them and say you won't be left behind then <laughs> that makes that makes them feel good and i think we should and we have an obligation to make them and that's what we signed up good. for whether we like it or not <clears throat> so this is fun let's move on so this is fun uh, if you've been following Skeleton Realm for a while, you know that we're very interested in uh, hominids, pre-hominid species, the out of uh, Africa, you know, anthropological uh, movement uh, of mankind, the evolution of man from, you know, an apoid creature into modern, uh, you know, Homo erectus, Homo sapien, and so we, but we've gotten interested in one particular tribe, and it's Tribe HB two three eight NA. And tribe HB238NA right now is in northern Africa, and they're headed north. And so we've been keeping live updates on them, watching their movements, watching sort of their social behaviors. And it's been really fun just to see, like, what are some of the social dynamics in the tribe? What are, what are some of the patterns that they're moving? And so one of the things this week that I thought was really cool was Gork is using stone tools. And Gork is the alpha, in, alpha male in the group, and he's using stone tools. Did you see that? Yeah. Uh <laughs> It's it's just super cool to be able to like witness these guys do their thing. These guys are some of the best 
and uh, I, I've just been thrilled. Like, what? I know you have a lot to be excited about. You're kind of you really like thinking about the social dynamics of these guys. What, what right. have you been noticing well, lately? What have they been up to? Exactly. I mean, that's why I was jump, kind of jumping the gun, but Gork used stone tools. I mean, you can't overstate. Gork, and also Gork, he's a leader in the group. So when Gork starts using stone tools, uh, everybody's going to start using stone tools. So watching the tribe uh, slowly adopt the use of stone tools is going to be really exciting, I think, in the coming months and years. Um and that really just piqued my interest because I saw him pick up that stone and I thought he's gonna bang it against the wall again like he like he does you know like they do yeah but he actually turned and he had a piece of animal hide and he started cutting it and I went okay that's like oh. a pair of scissors yeah and that's Gork and again that's Gork that's not that's not Dorb that's no, Gork that's it, that's an alpha in the group so they're gonna pay attention yeah and Tuck Tuck I would imagine probably doing something like that but you don't see it uh, from Mr G that's right and 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 it's I so. That's what really got me excited. It's big. <laughs> yeah. Did you notice any... Uh, I, I saw what I could only describe as a proto-marriage ritual. Ooh, Did that's... Did you notice that? Okay, so... I don't know exactly so what's going on there, but... I've got my little list here of things, and so we'll get to that. Okay, uh, sure. But I, we'll just talk about it now since yeah. you mentioned it. So what was really exciting me is this burning question I have, and I think anybody else who's watching the tribe right now has. Is Durdina and Burr Porg, will they mate again? Are Jordina and Burpor going to mate again? It's been two You're years. Asking the since, question, we're all wondering. It's been two years. It's been two years since they made their offspring, and it's like Jordina wants to. She wants to mate again. It's pretty obvious. You can you can tell. But Burpog, he's 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 just kind of hesitant. And you want to say, dude, can I send some blue chew? Can I send some Viagra down there? I know. <laughs> get this thing started already? Let's get them to make some more offspring. We need a bigger tribe. Everybody knows a bigger tribe is better. It's safer to. Uh, uh, protect from predators and so we want the tribe to grow um another thing yep. lots of fire oh tons of fire it is hot down there and i'm thinking last of uh, this time last year it was like okay feast day there's a fire yeah duh now it's almost every night there's a fire almost every night and they're not always cooking on that either mm -hmm. you know that no that's right they're social it's like a social event it's, social behavior. They, I can only explain it as that. Uh, and possibly, uh, yeah, a social event and potentially uh, raising spirits before they go hunting. For, before the hunt. That's yeah. right. So but we're seeing rituals yeah. ar arise. It's, there, it's so, and so therefore, fun. And therefore, say it with me, the C word. Culture. Culture. That's right. Yeah. There we are. That's pretty. S that's thrilling. And, so I, that's and to super watch exciting. these guys growing up, basically, it's 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 exciting. And well, I guess my last thing that I was that I noticed is Ur, Ur is using an axe to modify animal bones. That is pretty. And cool. And so that actually goes along with uh, Gork using the stone tools. I think he picked that up by watching Gork. I be yeah. So that's really exciting. So it must be. Anyway, those are sort of my uh, things that I noticed socially. But I know that you're kind of more interested in the bigger, broader picture of what the tribe's been up to. So you've been keeping tabs on sort of their migration patterns. So what's that all about? Absolutely. Yeah. So you know, we've been watching these guys for uh, several generations now, and it's been really exciting. And uh, I what I noticed is that yeah, they are traveling northward. They are traveling northward in bands. They stop every few weeks, set up camp, and uh, it, it, I can only guess that they are tracking down a, a rogue group of antelope. Mm. And uh, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, another thing, probably the, the warming climate is going to help with that. They're, they're traveling northward. And if I had a guess, I'm going to bet, my prediction, they will cross the Irving Strait. Ooh, wow. An exclusive prediction from Sam here. Okay. And that would be big because first off, they're going north. It's going to get cold. And all that tool building you just described is going to come in handy when they're needing to fight generally tougher predators. There's not mm -hmm. going to be a lot of uh, well, docile animals up and there. And a cooler, a, a harsher, cooler climate is going to, you know, that necessitates, you know, Better tools, better clothing, warmer. You saw Mr. G cutting leather with a, a, maybe the, yeah. a rock. He must, I, I hopefully that's garment building. And you know what? All those extra fires, maybe they're saying, hey, we're going to need to make more fires when it gets cooler up north. And so let's get used to it. Let's kind of incorporate that into our routine and we can have fires every night because we're going to have to have fires every night because it's going to be freaking cold. That's the, yeah. yeah. I mean, in, in the, so they're getting ready. And <laughs> I think by the time they get to the Irving Strait, it's probably going to be two or three generations from now right they're gonna be ready and they're gonna we're gonna see some it's gonna be good yeah so that's exciting so i we gotta stop ourselves because we could go on and on and on because there's so much to really talk about there but we're definitely gonna check back in with the tribe 
uh, when developments happen. I mean, heck, if something crazy happens, we might even do an impromptu live stream right then and there. I might be at my computer and say, click live. I got to tell everybody about what I just saw. Yeah, I'd love to get Tuck Tuck on the stream. That'd be great. Wow. I wonder if we could get him on. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe his, uh, some of his ancestors could come on too. Mm. Ooh, ooh, that'd be really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You never know. Okay. So next order of business here. Um, so here at Skeleton Run, we kind of have a special way of coming up with ideas. A lot of people ask us, how do you guys come up with your ideas? What, what makes a Skeleton Realm idea? And what, goes, what, what is the process that goes into really coming up with an epic idea? And uh, what we do here is we do something, it's called brainwashing sessions. And so it's pretty fairly common. Most people do brainwashing sessions. But uh, Sam and I have been getting together more uh, frequently now, doing lots of brainwashing sessions. And uh, we've been kind of uh, coming up with some kind of peculiar ideas. And so we thought we might want to try something here, just a little bit of an idea on the live audience. We thought, hey, we have a live stream now. Maybe we can try out this one of these uh, ideas that we have. You have anything to add to that? Uh, no, it's just you know a little peek at the process. Basically, we get together, just do a few brainwashing sessions, and try to just you know chase some ideas down. And uh, so we thought maybe we could show the audience how we do it. And, yeah. So, uh, so let's just get right into it. Cool. <laughs> let's hmm. uh, get our. So we have a few. There's a kind of a process. So, so I'll get us started. First, let's pull up our. Uh, how do you? How would you describe? Um, how would you describe this? Everyone, get relax. Everyone, just relax. Everyone right. just relax. Close your eyes. Just relax. You're getting smaller. You're getting very small. You're, you're, the, the sound of my voice is... Getting closer. Flowing over you like a calming wave. There are three of us. It's making you... It's turning you on. Oh. You are one of them. Your eyes are closed. Your eyes are closed. Your you're mouth falling is open. asleep. You can feel it coming right from the tip of your head down to the tip of your toes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Should you look at look at the uh, uh, spinning? And when I count down from three, you will be fully under my control. You'll be fully immersed in sleep. Three, two, one. Excuse me, Jesus. Okay, so they're asleep now. Okay, so how do you think it's going? I don't. I think it's good. Uh, I think that what we just did was a little rough. I didn't know when to pull up the yeah. hypnosis thing here. Yeah, but they don't know that. They it's an tell. okay bit. I mean, it's it's I. It seems kind of stupid to me. It's in general, though. I mean, how do you think the stream has been? I think it's. I think you know, episode three, we're working out the kinks. I think it's going okay, though. It's good. I wish I didn't wear this hood because uh, it's fuck. It's like yanking mm. my. I need you to find a solution off. to get my this thing. Oh yeah, going. Um, oh yeah, how's that rash on your ball sack? It's good. Yeah, it's, it's better. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's better than ever. Uh, what about you? You're an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, I went to the doctor, you know, and uh, it uh, uh, he just told me that I was shitting too much. So. Oh. Yeah, I gotta stop doing hold that. Hold it in. Well, you try that. I've been trying. Yeah. So and he gave in. he gave me like a, That's what a I do. like a reverse laxative, and. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just fiber yeah just yeah. fiber. well no that's a laxative oh right he's trying to clog me up because my rash is okay super super it hurts like when i shit it hurts and yeah. it doesn't help that i'm eating lots of sharp like corn i'm eating lots of popcorn so it's there. wet it's fluid or is it too dense or too loose? it's all over the place it's mm. it's one day it's fl liquid and the next day it's like oh, sharp as nails <laughs> so so yeah so i think i guess whenever i snap my fingers they'll just they'll be watching again but right now, I mean, actually, we could do anything we want. We could say anything we want to the audience, and they won't. Uh, I mean, they they haven't heard anything we've said. No, um, I hope. Should we or, tell them to watch they, every Wednesday? You know, something. Oh yeah, give them a command. Yeah. So I'll, oh, I might plug the turn, book. Let me let me uh, get the spiral going. Okay. The uh, our effects back on. I'm okay, gonna do two friend. commands. Okay. So you're very you're still asleep. You haven't heard anything we've said. You're not gonna you're not gonna understand anything when you wake up. You're gonna feel like no time has passed. And you're going to watch Skeleton Realm live every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. You're going to snuggle up on your couch with your loved ones and you're going to watch Skeleton Realm live. And then another thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Amazon.com and you're going to put in your credit card information. You're going to 
purchase and that green ship, I don't like her, for 12 dollars you're going to get that ship for your house. You're going to get the audio book to it, you're going to get the Kindle e book as well. You're going to aisle three, you're going to love it. You're going to read it, you're going to read it twice, you're going to read this copy, you're going to read the e book, and you're going to listen to the audio book. Is there a lot of applause for you? Uh, no, but just before we break down, I, uh, I think I had the effects backwards. So hopefully our, uh, our video, uh, identification effects were on an accident. They're on now. Anyways, that's all what happened. Okay, uh, I'll take it work. They might have not been out for that. You might see. I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll give a special command now. And you are... Oak. Okay. And so that's a little segment we like to do about our ideas we do brainstorming and we love ideas and we hope that you had a fun time brain washing with us yeah so moving on this is exciting this is really exciting actually this is probably for me this is the most exciting uh segment for the uh the show tonight and it's really the main event and it's the new body parts 2022 baby so everybody's been super excited talking about the new parts that are coming out this year um the new parts for 2021 were kind of less than uh they weren't that exciting people were kind of complaining but boy did they make up for it this year some of the new parts they came out with this year are just absolutely blowing my mind and i did see some of the reviews before they released them so i did kind of know what we were expecting but they blew my mind they blew me Way. I mean, you're probably the biggest body head I know. Yeah. You just are so into that. I love crap. my body, and I, I love, yeah, I love your body. You love ever, you love most bodies. Basically, you're, I don't know, you're just a body head. I'm and a body the, freak. And this new release, I mean, I'll let you take it away. I mean, uh, Okay. Well, so basically, uh, there were five new parts this year that came out for the body. And these are parts that you can go sign up for right now. You just go down to the doctor. It doesn't matter. You don't need insurance. You just go to any doctor and say, hey, I'd like this new part. You tell them which part you want, and they'll install it for you. And so there's five new for 2022, and and it's just incredibly exciting. So I'm just going to go through them. Um, So number one, Samson's Hook. Uh, so hooks rather Samson's hooks. So these are hooks that you can install on your calf muscles on the back of your leg And they're pretty big and they kind of resemble like a hook that you would like hang your coat on um, And they're super 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 useful talk about utility talk about usefulness You can hang a necklace on that you can hang a backpack on that you could hang anything um, You could also I mean sh- crap you could use it as a weapon you could kind of jab somebody with it I'm thinking they could kind of act as like spurs if you're a horseback rider what do you yeah. think about Samson's hooks? Kind of sounds like Sam. I know. Yeah, I relate a lot to these, given that they share a part of my name. And my name is not Samson. Uh, they look aerodynamic. I would guess that they make you faster. Uh, a lot of times when you add mass to a moving mm. object, it can actually pick up velocity. And that's pretty thrilling for that. I would put my hat on those. And especially another mm. thing I noticed about Samson hooks, if you didn't notice this, but given how popular hat tricks are now, mm. uh, fedora tricks and that kind of thing, uh, oh, GoPro's wow, dead again. Wow, GoPro's down. Um, the uh, popularity of hat tricks, I would imagine that you could do one of those and also just mm-hmm. keep them on there, do a few flips. It's just begging for hat tricks. Honestly, like, I don't think it's a coincidence that hat tricks are so, like, th- these came out this year. I think when the body council got together, they d- they talked about the trend. I mean, they always do. And this year they nailed it. And yeah, I mean, you can't go f- 10 minutes at the club without seeing a hat trick because no. everybody's doing their hat tricks with the fedoras and so they're flipping and tossing and this is perfect for that and i think that really probably did go into it that's a really good point yeah and i i actually am not much of a a, a, a hat tricker i wear a hat every day but i don't do many tricks and i think once i get these because i i actually am going to get these exclusive for the stream this is you're gonna okay well I'm, i'll have to <laughs> i didn't think you'd get these but we'll see well, I mean, maybe you get i still haven't fully decided because we've got four more to go but i these are like what i'm leaning towards i should have saved these for last and sort of done the reveal hey this is what i'm getting but anyway suffice it to say i'm probably going to be learning some hat tricks if i do get these so that'll be fun flipping my hat i can't wait maybe you can do Crap. some on stream oh of course once we get these installed we'll definitely show them off on stream heck yeah that's great you said these are free too i, I oh, thought absolutely i thought you i thought there's a program but that's awesome that's no, really it's awesome. it's any if you're a citizen of Earth, it's any country, anywhere, any age, any. You just go into a doctor's office and they install them for you. It's a quick quick procedure. Some of them are, you know, some of the procedures are more invasive. This one's easy. They just screw it in with a like a Ryobi, with a I, nail gun. They just nail it on. I get that. Um, yeah, you but, could do it yourself probably. Anyway. Oh yeah, I got the tools. God knows that. Uh, well, how about you take the next body part and I'm gonna fix the GoPro once oh, again. Okay. All right. So number two is pipe. 
So everybody knows what a pipe is. Everybody loves pipes. Uh, and so this is basically just a pipe that you install. You ha can have it installed anywhere in your body. And uh, you can have it installed. M probably the most popular place to put a pipe would be in your torso. Just because this is a large pipe. This is like a two-foot pipe, maybe a foot and a half. Uh, and you, basically a doctor will just shove it right in. They cut open a hole and they'll put the pipe in. But you could probably fit that pipe in your leg. You could fit it in your arm. You could fit it in your head maybe. You could have it like sticking out. But I mean the possibilities are basically endless with this one. A pipe facilitates. I don't know if, uh, if you're familiar with pipes. Those of you who are familiar with pipes know that pipes are very useful for uh, transporting fluids, transporting items from point A to point B. And so this is going to basically just kind of improve the efficiency of your body. If you have a pipe in the middle of your body, it just means stuff's going to be moving through it at a more efficient rate, at a quicker rate. And um, that's basically mainly what it's for. I think this for aesthetics. It might be for feeling. Like it might feel cool to have a pipe inside you. Um, but, uh, I like this one. It's not my favorite for this year, but I think it's pretty cool. What, what do you think about the pipe, Sam? What's it made of? Stainless? It's, it's steel metal. It's just steel. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, probably easy to clean. That's, that's for sure. I, I like oh, yeah. my steel. You know that. Stainless steel, so it's not going to stain with your blood and your organs, your, you know. You get a little barkeeper's friend, you can scrub mm. anything, anything off there, stomach acid or... Yeah. Food. Oh, it's not going. It's not getting corroded or anything. That's. I mean, they design. They design these things to to last a lifetime. I mean, the pipe. Honestly, when they when you, you when you die and you're a corpse and they bury you in the ground, your body's gonna rot away and the pipe's gonna be there for a thousand years. So they're gonna find these pipes probably in a thousand years. They're gonna go. What? They, why were they burying all these pipes? Because your skeleton will be dust, but there'll be a pipe sitting there. That's probably the cool. Actually, now I'm liking it because that's kind of the coolest part about it. You get a pipe. That's it's kind it's, of a posterity pipe. Yeah, posterity pipe. I like that. They should market it as that. Yeah, uh, legacy. Leave a legacy for the future generations. Leave no. Leave a pipe. Leave a pipe behind, as they say. Yep. What's <laughs> next on next? Okay, so number parts. three, we've got circles. Everybody Ooh. knows what a circle is. Uh, everybody loves circles. I've never met somebody who doesn't love a circle. And uh, you might be saying, "Wow, I like that close up." Whoops. <laughs> you might be saying, "That just looks like tattoos." They're not tattoos. It's a different material. So you can choose a felt. You can choose a, like a screen. You can choose a piece of metal. These are grafted into your skin, and they're at the level of your skin. So it's not it's not a tattoo, and it's not just a sticker. It's like a, an installment. It's kind of hard to explain unless you have it done. Um, I had a couple of friends that did this. This is actually a throwback because they did squares last year, which mm -hmm. sucked. I but didn't. I did not care for those. Squares suck. But now they're doing circles. I think circles is cool. Circles are more fun. They're more, uh, they're just like rounded and cooler. What do you think? I mean, what do you think about circles? Better than squares. That's for sure. Ten times better. Mm. Squares suck. Yeah. I remember last year, I kind of guilty admission. I got a square last year. Uh, still, you got a square. Still have it. Yeah. Where'd you get it? Uh, back, small on my back. Damn. I didn't know you got a square. You didn't tell me you got a square. Well, it was embarrassing. I'm not. It kind of is. What kind, what, were you drunk or something? What the hell? No, I was really stoned on marijuana. <laughs> well, there you go. Don't do marijuana and go get squares, folks. Jeez. You got. You know what you could probably do is get them to uh, modify that into a circle. They could kind of cut the edges off and turn it into a circle. If you want a circle. I don't know. You might be, you know, whatever. I'll probably just get a real circle <laughs> instead of modifying a square. Get a real one. So, circles. Again, this is not really my favorite one. I do like it way more than squares, but it, it's, it's okay. But I'm probably not going to be getting uh, circles. So let's move on to number four, I guess. What's number four? Number four is Muscle 36 TB508. Ooh. This is a really cool one. So this is a new muscle that they've invented for the body. It fits like right here on your arm. <coughs> Man, I'm coughing today. <laughs> it fits right here on your arm. It kind of juts out. And so as you can see in the diagram, it's basically like what that looks like is an up close of muscle fibers. And that's essentially what it is. But what they've done is they've taken... Uh, like a microscopic part of the muscle and they've blown it up and then they've mass produced them so basically it's like a twitch it, it, it just it just slurps around like a tongue and it has that's a muscular ver uh, view of it but it's gonna it would have skin around it and then would have skin coming down on that one fiber and it would it actually has hair on it too and depending on how hairy you are like if you're a hairy person you'll have more hair on it it kind of it kind of molds to your body but what you can do is you can use it like a like a third arm and you can just kind of slap it around and stuff and um it's 36 tb 508 i think that's a really clever name for that it makes a lot of sense as to why they would call it that um and so what do you think about that one 
Uh, how much uh, articulation do you think you got on this sucker here? That's a good question. Yeah, I, I, I would guess a lot. I would guess you'd be able to basically pick up an apple or a banana. You probably could peel a banana with Holy it. Holy shit. Wait. I know. You get one of these on each arm? Uh, that's a good question, too. I don't know. I, was, I think it's just the left arm. I think it's just the left arm. You could maybe, I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah. It's cool. It does look nice. Uh, looks almost like a uh, honey-baked ham. Mm. Uh, and what would you Yum. say the scale is relative to a honey-baked ham of muscle 36 TB 508? Oh, man, probably like a 0.8, so like an 80% the size. Yeah. That's what I would guess. Easy. That's easy to visualize. It's easy to clean. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. You could put you could use you could use soap, you could use body wash, whatever you want. It's basically would create a new armpit too. Uh maybe a downside for some. I don't yeah. I don't I have enough armpits. Huh. Are there lymph nodes on this? Oh, muscle? there are nodes in there. There's a bunch of nodes. Good. You gotta have nodes to let you know if it's you extra know. healing. Huh? Abs extra healing, absolutely. Well, anyway, so the last one and now this is this, so between uh, the Samson's hooks and this last one that I'm about to say, these are the two that I'm really excited about that I can't decide. Okay. So just let it be known. So the last one is the Orbsman's internal body orbs or Whoa. the Oibos. Oh, these have been anticipated for years. People have been really excited about these. There's been talk in the Orbsman forums for like, you know, for like 10 years about some body mod stuff that they've been doing. Yeah. Finally. We get internal. We, oh, the day would never come. I know. And so basically what Orsman has done is they've teamed up with the Body Council, the International Body Council, as one of the only... I mean, you know how strict the Body Council is with including brands. Impossible. In this stuff. impossible. It's impossible. But Orsman got in. So Orsman now is one of the only companies that can actually give you a, a, a verified uh, body mod for free at any doctor you want. They've teamed up with the council. The council bought this product from them, and they've actually formed a new company, a new sort of subsidiary called Orsman Internal. So they're gonna. So that tells me we're gonna see a lot more internal uh, body mods from Orbsman. And anyway, haven't even explained what it is. They they stick orbs in your body. So they'll take a group of orb. They'll take five, six orbs and they'll shove them right up against an organ, wherever you want. And so that's what's cool about this too. Anywhere you want. So that picture is someone's. That's a colon. That's in someone's anal oh. ass. Yeah. So you could do it there. And those are small. Those are probably. Those oh. are small. I don't know where I would want to put mine, though. I'm thinking just in my stomach, so I'd just be full all the time, full of orbs, and I wouldn't eat anymore. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I the possibilities are endless. Uh, they have to go inside, uh, internal. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess I have to think more about maybe inside my skull. Ooh, inside the skull. Dang, I didn't even think of that. I might actually steal that idea, like wedged in between the skull and the brain. Or Let's both do it. Let's go together. What about these... in the brain? It's, or you swap, let's pop the brain out and mm. fill it with orbs. Man, you'd probably get 10 times smarter. At least. At least. Maybe 100 times smarter. Crap. Yeah. I might get I might get oibos. I don't know. I'm still deciding. Oibos or the Samson's hooks. The hooks are just so, like the utility of that hook. Yeah. I mean, do it, not the hat trick would be cool. I mean, anything. I was thinking like just hanging my coat on it in the winter. I mean, that, you, you could sit here and come up with a thousand things to do with the hooks. What do you the, say... Tomorrow, you and I get hooks and oibos. Just do both. Just say screw it and do both. At for a start, I mean, I'm I'm not. I got a. I already got it. I'm a little bitter because I already got a square, so I don't really want to get a circle, but yeah. I might need to get one to replace my square. But, yeah, let's uh, go get them both. I mean, heck, yeah. we can do that. We can get an ice cream sundae and a smoothie afterwards, and we can celebrate and we can high five. Did the Did the GoPro go out? No. Oh crap. Okay. Nope. Yeah. To touch the, or like touch the GoPro. I love the banding there. Touch the GoPro every now and then uh, to say don't go anywhere because it's a needy little it's baby. Needy. You have to give it love. I hate it. Well, I guess we can move on. I suppose so. So uh, here's something cool. Have you ever been driving down the highway, driving down the road, and you see a sign pop up and it says "Highway adopted by." Dairy Queen, highway adopted by, uh, you know, the Jim, Jim Jones, highway adopted by uh, uh, space aliens. I'm just being kind of wacky. Basically, the adopt a highway program. You see these highways that get adopted, these roadways get adopted, and then the business will give money to the state. I guess that's how it works. They give money to the state. 
and they keep them clean and stuff. Well, we at Skeleton Realm had the chance to adopt I-85. Yes, that's right. I-85. If you're from Atlanta, you know that's like the main vein in, in Atlanta. Takes you from downtown Atlanta up into Gwinnett County into the suburbs. It's the big, it's the big highway. Actually, it takes you all the way to Charlotte. So we got and we got it from Atlanta to Charlotte. So uh so I-85 is now officially adopted by Skeleton Realm. And so when you adopt a highway, they say who do you want to dedicate it to? And it was obvious for us that we wanted to dedicate it to our great, dearly beloved friend who has now passed away, named J. Jim Tornado Green. And if you've ever been to, uh, if you've ever been to Tornado's Tavern, you know that J. M. Tornado Green, the founder of Tornado's Tavern, is the inventor of wet fries at Tornado's Tavern, and that's a that's a that's a dish that we've been enjoying since we were kids. And so we thought, who better else? And it was right off eighty five. So we said, who better else to name I eighty five after than J. M. Tornado Green? We miss you, Jim. And it's never been the same without you. This one goes out to you. This highway is yours as much as it is ours now. We love you, Jim. We love you, Tornado. Tornado, you were good to us. And you gave us wonderful fries. And they were wet. Thank you, Tornado. Never again will someone say, I'm going to go a couple exits up 85. They'll say, I want to go up the Tornado Speedway. (laughs) Ha ha. That's what uh, I-85's name now. Incredible. <clears throat> okay, so... We um, also built a bridge, but moving on. Uh, you want to talk about the device? Yeah, a uh, very quick announcement from me here. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, the device is secure. It is in our possession. The payload has been transferred, and uh, that's about it. Awesome. <clears throat> so if you've watched the first couple episodes of the stream, you know that we may we have kind of a problem with cursing. We're cursors. We say naughty language, you say naughty words, and um, we're bad boys. We curse. So we thought to make the show more family friendly, why not implement uh, beeps, bleeps? And so we thought at first, we thought, okay, Sam, just bleep every time we say a curse word. And then we thought, well, that he can't really do that. So we need something better. Uh, so then we thought, well, we'll hire someone to sit there and beep. And then we went, ah, we can't really afford that. And also that really wouldn't work either. So what we've figured out is we can create an AI system that detects when we say a curse word. And when we say the curse word, it automatically bleeps it out right when we say it. So it'll bleep out the curse word. You won't even hear me say the curse word. So yeah, uh, fi- let's here. Uh, should we launch it? Should we officially launch it? Uh, yeah, uh, it's... <coughs> It is running now. I'm not okay, it's touching running. All right. the loop deck. Give it a try. Okay. Fuck. Curse word detected. Fuck. Curse word detected. It works. Fuck shit. Curse Fuck. Word Curse word detected. Curse word detected. It's pretty. Fuck. Curse word detected. Fuck. Curse word Fuck. detected. Fuck. Curse word detected. Curse word detected. Fuck. Curse yeah, word it kind of works. It's picked up. Huh. It missed one. That's like one out of ten. I I'm, think that's pretty good. I don't know. Isn't it supposed to beep right when I say the word? Fuck. Curse word detected. No, it's supposed to identify curses oh. and supply a beep. So then what is that? What's the purpose of that? Is that that's so that somebody can ca- tally? Is it tallying the... Fuck. Curse word Well, detected. it's more like... Uh, I don't know. I mean... It, it beeps when he curses. Shit. Curse word detected. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm wondering what Curse words it's. Curse word detected. Uh oh. Fuck. What'd you say? Curse word Pussy. detected. Pussy. Pussy. Curse word detected. Curse word detected. Mm. Yeah. So we didn't update the word bank. We where'd you get the, the? What'd you? How'd you pull the word bank? How'd you? It's the the banned words from Wikipedia. Ah. Curse word detected. Mm. Fuck. Curse word detected. It's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I'm actually kind of liking it. Maybe we could have someone tally up. Or we can get the software to tally it up so we'll know how many. Fuck! Curse word detected. Damn, it's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. Wow. Okay, well, I guess, are we just going to keep it on for the rest I of the show? I think in editing, so we're, I'll try one. Shit. Curse word detected. Mm. That's cool. Um, I think in editing, what we can do is every time we curse, we can take the beep that it supplies and just move it up by... A few milliseconds. Mm. Uh, chop up everyone. We'll be able to see in the audio waveform when the beep happens. 
I was going to say you could actually get an AI to look at the audio waveform and then find where to put it. Fuck! Curse word detected. Cum. Curse word detected. Pussy. Curse word detected. Shit. Curse word detected. Cock. Curse word detected. It's pretty cool. Cock like a chicken. Interesting. It I didn't know, know it had oh, contextual. Oh, wow. Pussy cat. Damn. It's pretty good. Shiitake mushroom. So Shit. Curse word detected. Okay, it's good. Wow, it's actually pretty, cool. pretty advanced. We like that. Um, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, fun. well, let's keep it on, and we'll, I guess we'll move on with the show, but we'll just kind of keep it on. We'll keep huh? it on for the next several shows, maybe all of them. I don't know. We'll I see. Think, I, I like it. I mean, we'll just keep it forever. Why not? Yeah. Fuck it. Curse word detected. Okay, so uh, this is Pierre Toussaint. This is Who is Pierre Toussaint? This is Pierre Toussaint. A lot of people have been asking, who is Pierre Toussaint? And this is Pierre Toussaint. Why is he Pierre Toussaint? This is Pierre Toussaint. Who is Pierre Toussaint? I've been hearing that. All My neighbors have been asking me that. My friends have been asking me that. You've been asking me that. And now you know, this is Pierre Toussaint. So who is Pierre Toussaint? Let's get it. Let's just get this out of the way. Who the fuck is Pierre Toussaint? Who the fuck is Pierre Toussaint? This is Pierre Toussaint. What do you think about that, Sam? Uh, guess what? The GoPro's down. Oh, wow. Shit! So, uh... Curse word detected. Just, there it goes. Yeah, I would, I would say big didn't fuck catch the to, fuck. Uh, Curse word fuck. detected. Fuck! Uh, for that, Curse but, uh... Curse word detected. Have a big sip of your Diet Coke, and then, uh, stall for... I think I've got this down now. We don't so, need the fucking GoPro. Oh, we sure do. No, we don't. Um... I think... So... But uh, it's back on. Look at the red light. It's on. Ah, oh, shit. We'll just do this. Hey, no. The problem is, is that the GoPro. These color lines are cool. People can look at the color lines while we're turning the GoPro on. Look. First word detected. Fuck. Is that preemptive? Preemptive. Curse. It knows. Wow. Is it predictive? Yeah. So yeah. Um. Oh. So who? Who is Pierre uh, Toussaint? This is Pierre Toussaint. Okay. I've been trying to tell people. I just want to get your thoughts on it, but you're obsessed with the GoPro. Yeah. It's, uh, bummed me out. Just fuck it. Just leave it off. We don't need the fucking GoPro. Fuck it. Who gives a shit? You got graphics you want to put up on the wide? Is that why you're... Not anymore. I guess we can just do our two. Fuck it. Just don't leave it alone. You know what? Let's take this opportunity to say something about fucking GoPro. Okay. Curse word Curse detected. Word detected. Curse Go. Word detected. GoPro fucking sucks. It's a piece Curse of shit. Word detected. Don't fuck with GoPro. Okay. If you're trying to stream, I mean, maybe if you're some stupid fucking, uh, you know, extreme Curse athlete, snowboards and does bullshit like that, put put a GoPro on your snowboard. But don't fuck with it if you're trying Curse to do a live stream because it's it's fucking sucks. And it, it fucks up my bits. Off. I'm trying to do a fucking bit about Pierre Curse Toussaint, and it detected. turns off and fucks me up. Curse so fuck detected. GoPro. Curse we don't want to fuck with GoPro. Fuck you, GoPro. Why would you have a camera that turns on in a mode be besides camera mode? It turns on in yeah. browser mode, and it's a camera, and I need to turn it on because it goes to sleep all the time when it's in use. Another thing cameras shouldn't do. You know what? I'm getting sick of this shit. Fuck GoPro. Curse word detected. Fuck GoPro. Fuck GoPro. Curse word, Curse detected. word detected. Fuck GoPro. Curse word detected. See, this is what it does. It opens up. Look at that. The what the menu. fuck is that? It opens up the damn menu. You know what's funny about that? Imagine like you're using a GoPro and 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 you you have it in your pocket off, right? Yeah. And then something insane happens in front of you, and you pull out your camera to get capture it, which is what you do with a camera. Right. And then you turn it on and it's on some fucking stupid menu. Yeah, which has letterboxes now. Yeah, it's so a piece of shit. Now look, now we can see. Why do we need to see the battery? What is this now shit? That's awesome. Guess what? It's been at 62% this whole time and it's been charging this whole time. It's losing battery despite being plugged in. It's a piece of shit. Fuck GoPro. We don't fuck with GoPro. Now we're in epic letterbox mode. It kind of looks cool cinematic though. Yeah. It's got us. Which is, by the way, the same mode it was on before, but now it <laughs> just has bars on it. It's a piece of fucking shit. Curse word detected. Okay. Well, should we move on? Should we do? Should we talk about our Instagram or no? Did you want to talk about our Instagram? 
Sure, yeah. I mean, uh, I can pull it up. Just a little bit of housekeeping. Everybody, uh, follow us on Instagram. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, we just want to show our Instagram. Yeah, let's pull this up real quick. Uh, there it is. There's our fun Instagram, all our fun posts. Yeah. You can DM us and we can, you can chat with us. Yeah. Um, I love it. Should we post something now? That'd be fun. Let me, yeah, let me, uh, oh, fuck. Curse huh? word detected. What? Oh, shit. What? Curse word detected. What's wrong? I just hacked our What's Instagram. What's wrong? Stop. Stop. Curse oh. word stop. Detected. Why are you hacking us? I, stop hacking I'm just us. hacking. I, I, stop. I, I, I can't stop. Turn it off. Oh, you shit. Can, what do you mean you can't Curse stop? You're hacking Curse us. Word. You're posting uh, spam and hacking detected. us. Stop hacking us, I Sam. I can't. Once I begin, it's hard to stop. Stop. Turn it off. Curse word detected. Turn it off. Um. Uh, I can't. Stop hacking us! I'm, I... Dude, we just got it set up nice! You're fucking hacking it now? I... Uh, Stop uh, hacking us! Curse word detected. Dude, can you delete those posts? Um... Stop hacking us! Okay, you've stopped, right? It stopped. Alright, the posts look to be gone. Damn, what just happened? This is a screenshot. They're probably up. It's probably still hacked. What'd you... What just happened? Can you explain to me? I... I hacked the Instagram. I never thought that my own, you know, my own business partner, my own comrade would ha Stop! Stop hacking us! Stop! Okay. Do I need to worry about you just hacking us at every moment? You don't hack us. It's you. It's our account. You, you're hacking your own account? Well, you gave me the login and password. I fished you successfully, so I kind of get to do whatever the, I want. You know the password. It's our account. We share the account. What are you talking? What's gotten Not, into you? Never share your username and password with anyone. Well... He makes a good point, I guess. Um. Well, uh, okay, moving on. Yeah. So, yeah, don't. I guess the lesson here is don't share your password even with your closest friends. Yeah, and uh, I definitely agree to that. <sighs> okay, well, got my heart pumping. I know that was exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna admit that was exciting. I was I was acting upset, but I was kind of getting like, uh, like excited. You know like, what I'm gonna do next way. stream? Hmm. Get water. I'm so fucking thirsty. Excuse me. Curse word detected. Is that like the remnants of a Diet Coke? That's the watered down Diet Coke. It's I'm a all Diet the Coke. Drip Love I have in sight, and I'm parched. I bet. I wonder if my mic's been picking up my uh, nasty. That is good. Get it on the. Uh, should we bust out the stick cam for that? Yeah, bust out the. Let's see. Let's really use the stick cam. Yeah, we've been having so many problems I with know. the fucking GoPro that uh, we should Curse replace it with the stick cam. That we should uh, check this out. I think it's number five. Here we are. This is cool. How f this is a little bit of Amazon. You can buy a paperback, but we the audiobook is now live. I know we went over. We talked about doing the audiobook, but you know, I'm just plugging my own book here again. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, let's listen to the audio sample, huh? Oh yeah, there's an audio sample. I, I spent a lot could... of time on this book as well. So yeah, I, uh, although I didn't write it. I owe it um, to Sam to, to... Yeah, I still want to plug it myself because uh, it's good. You guys, it's good text. It, so it's also good recording. Nice. So let's listen. That's all thanks to Sam. Let's hear, it. let's hear the sample. Fabricians believed a pair of pants or shirt must not only be fashionable, but designed with utility in mind. And Jim's khaki factory was committed to these ideals. It was Jim's belief khaki fabric deserved a place in Fabricia equal to denim, the realm's default fabric which had held a materialistic hegemony over villagers' fashion choices for centuries. This is not just a denim realm! Jim shouted at a large denim troll standing <coughs> ten feet tall, extremely wide in stature, hunched back and wielding a massive wooden spiked club. The troll's skin was identical in color and consistency to denim, and its brass button eyes flickered in the moonlight. Jim dropped to his knees in an anxious, defeated posture, his head slouched. The denim troll spoke in a deep, authoritative, gravelly voice, which shook Jim and caused his internal organs to vibrate. Thou shalt not pass through the enclave, for thou wast a khaki bastard, descendant of a lowly peasant bloodline. It is thy duty to dismember thee, for thou appearest before me clad in soft tan fabrics, head drooping like a defeated lost fawn, searching for its mother's teeth to suckle, smelling of an unwashed chamber pot.
The troll let out a long laugh following his decree, then took three steps forward and swung his massive club, hammering Jim and sending him flying thousands of feet into the night sky. Jim opened his eyes, his entire body tensed and lunged upwards in bed. It was the troll dream, the same dream he had been having for years. He shook his head and laid back in bed on this freezing cold morning. It had been unusually warm the night before, and all the liquids in the house had not frozen completely solid. In fact, there were a few buckets of slop in the kitchen that had a semblance of moisture still lingering on the top and sides of their mostly frozen contents. Jim's small suburban home lay in the outskirts of Porp, the largest and capital village in Fabricia. His home was almost directly halfway between Porp's center and his khaki factory, which was further out <sighs> into the countryside. Wow, fun! So that's a sample. And it's uh, out now. It's out now. You can get it on Audible. What I like com. about Audible is that it says zero dollars, and I yeah. think it's kind of funny how uh, every person who publishes an audiobook, almost anywhere, because where else are you going to get an audiobook besides Audible? They kind of cornered the market. Everyone has to deal with this huge free trial bullshit. Right. Uh, it's pretty amusing there. Huh? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Whenever you go on Amazon to look at a book, it's always zero dollars for the audiobook, and I go, "What?" Free with audio. But then it's like you have to have a what if trial. I don't or oh, set, there we go. Buy with one click. Oh, I can buy it for seventeen. Oh, that's a lot. Seventeen. That's yeah. worth it. That's eight hours. It's seven and a half hours of content. Can we? Can we mark it down? Maybe I might. Okay, I'll check. My I'll check. I'll see if I'll get it down. It should really it's, only be like five ninety nine. Nah. I mean, audiobooks are expensive because personnel, but we did it on our own and uh, for free. True. I don't know. Just get the free trial. Most Actually, the- it's already two dollars and fifty cents off. That's twelve percent. So that's pretty. That's not bad. It's pretty awesome. Deals galore. Skeleton Realm Press. We saved the plugs for the end this time, so that's cool. That is cool. So but we're it's basically a good plug, and we're it just at- came out. It's important. It is. It is. I mean, it, it, we should talk about it. We spent a lot of time on it, and uh, I'm going to be plugging the book every episode. Ha <laughs> So I guess that's it. 56 minutes we've done. We're coming to the end of the hour. A lot of lessons learned. Lessons learned. We learned that the GoPro is a piece of shit. Yeah. Maybe there's a way to... uh, should rip it open and biohack it. Mm. Um, Oh, here it is. I had wardrobe malfunction. I'll never be wearing a hood on the stream ever again. Sorry about that. Well... Um, And we can... uh, Answer any, uh, uh, I, we have people in the chat. Is there an actual active chat? Who's chatting? Uh, three of three great fans. Um, and the, all the questions seem to be related to the bits during, while they happen. So mm. they, they can't, it's hard to tell. Oops. Hard you know, we tell. need, we need a moderator in the chat. Yeah. You could be chatting with them in live. I don't like looking at the chat while I'm on while we're on the stream. I don't want to see it. I feel a bit at capacity technically. Anyway, I think we can call it. It's 57 minutes. That's a good that's a good hour long. I mean, we what do you, what more do you want from us? We've worked so hard. We've worked all week on these stupid f- fucking bits. And guess what? We're coming again live on the 18th of May. And that'll be one week from today. That'll be at 8 p.m. One week from today, May 18th. We're going to have a lot more fun. Not a lot more fun. We're going to have a lot of fun in addition to the fun we've had this week. Again next week. And then guess what? The week after that. And the week after that. It's coming. the week after that. We're doing it. So, thank you for tuning in to Skeleton Realm Live Wednesday, May 11th, 2022. We hope everyone has a great evening, and we'll see you later. Signing out. All right.